on you, Madway. Okay, good afternoon. Back here at St George's Park with Noni Madueke. Uh, just a reminder that this media conference is embargoed until 6 a.m. tomorrow onwards. Uh, and again, I'm keeping to three questions initially. I'm sure we'll have time to come back to you if you do have more. So, Tim, if you want to get us underway. Hi, Noni. Uh, called up again for the senior side. You've kept your place when some of the other more established players have been left out of this squad. So how much of a boost has that given you? And just what does it mean for you to be part of this England setup? Yeah, um, first, firstly, I'm honoured to be back in, in the squad. It's an honour to play for your country. And um, yeah, no, it's one of the best squads in the world. So it's always a blessing to be a part of it. And um, on the competition, yeah, that's, <coughs> that's football at the highest level. So you have to keep trying to do as well as you can for your club um, in order to get called up for your country. And this time I'm here, so I'm very pleased. Can you talk to us a little bit about your journey to this point? Because you've, you've played abroad, you've come back into the Premier League and also about some of your inspirations. I know you've talked in the past about Cristiano Ronaldo being a, an idol of yours. Yeah, no, um, <coughs> I haven't had the, the standard journey, probably. Um, <coughs> played academy football in England, then went and played um, abroad, the first part of my professional career, which was good. I learned a lot. And then, yeah, now back in back in England, which I'm happy about. In terms of Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah, that's, that's my idol. Um, I admire a lot of things about him, so, yeah. And Lee Carsley, you know him well from the under 21s. Can you just give us a bit of an insight into his strengths as a coach and just what he's done f for you in your career? Yeah, no, first, firstly, he's a great person. And um, he, yeah, he's a great coach as well. Um, he's very good at communicating his ideas and um, he has a strong belief about how he wants to play, which is um, which I admire about him. And it's good, it's, it's, he's also good at um, <coughs> portraying those ideas to the team. So I think he's a, he's a great coach and a great guy. Thank you. Hi, Nani. Hi. Uh, things couldn't have gone any better for you on your England debut coming on to get an assist. How, how does it feel to be back and just positive memories, I suppose? Yeah, no, my England debut was great. Um, first and foremost, we won the game. And um, yeah, no, assisting, assisting the second goal was great, especially assistant Harry on, on that type of historic night for him. So, yeah, no, I was very pleased. And, um, yeah, hopefully more great memories in the England shot to come. Is there similarities with the England squad to how things are for you at Chelsea? So many attacking players and so much attacking talent, just backing yourself to be successful no matter where you play? Yeah, no, um, the England squad has loads of attacking talent, some of the, some of the best attacking talent in the world, young players as well. So... Yeah, no, there are definitely similarities. You play with Cole Palmer in England 21s at Chelsea and now the seniors excited to show your link <laughs> up for, for the seniors and, and how you do play. <laughs> yeah, no, um, <laughs> definitely. Um, me and Cole have a great relationship off the pitch and um, on the pitch as well. So it's always fun playing with him. I get to play with him every week and um, it'd be fun if we can get to play with each other for England, definitely. Um, can you uh, talk to me about Lee Carsley? Everyone's saying yeah. it's Car's ball, but he's such a coach, isn't he? How does he get his ideas across? Is it on the pitch? Is that where he's happiest on the grass, on the tactics board? What, what, can you give us any sort of stories that you've tangentially experienced of how he coaches a team? Um, yeah, no, how I know him, he's uh, definitely happiest on the grass. Um, he's a very hands-on coach. He likes to communicate his ideas on the pitch and take control of sessions. Cars ball, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, tactically he's very good. And um, yeah, no, I'm super happy that, that he's the manager for sure. Do you think it should be more coach Carsley then than Cars ball? No, no, Cars ball, I kind of like it, it's good. <laughs> we'll keep with that. <laughs> you said you learned a lot by going away and playing abroad, coming through the academy. So many players struggle to move on. What do you think you took from that period abroad? Because we're seeing so many, so many players um, grow through that. I think the main thing for me was just focus. Um, I knew I wanted to get out of out of my time there, and um, yeah, just focus and execution, and I think that's what I did. And 
there's one video that's trending from uh, the last game at Stamford Bridge was uh, Cole lying on his back as that fracas took place. Does his level of chill <coughs> off the field compared to him on the pitch when he's going for goal continue to surprise you? Yeah, yeah Cole, Cole Palmer is a very unique player. Um, the type of player that doesn't feel pressure in the most pressurised situation. So I admire that about him. He's a great footballer and I'm, I'm sure he's going to produce for England just as he does for Chelsea. Hi, Nonny. In, in the summer, you did some training with, with Saul Isaacs and Hurst. What, what was it that, it, it was just really on your finishing, was it, or was it, was it fitness? And what sort of, you obviously wanted to take your game up to another level. And obviously, it's, it's work, judging by your form this season. What mm. was it specifically you were working on? Was it just the finishing? Yeah, just <coughs> what I needed to be, to become a, a top wide player, movement, finishing, both feet crossing, just everything really, all the tools that I, I had but also knew I needed to develop as well. So, yeah, off-season is a great time for that. Uh, when you say what you've just said about Cole Palmer, what do you think it is about him that makes him like that so chilled? Um, it's just his demeanour, really. He's just, he's just relaxed. I feel like he's just as relaxed off the pitch as he is on the pitch, you know, just, that's just him. Some people are just like that. That's his character, you know, so, and it works for him on the pitch. Some people have a character where they're relaxed off the pitch, but no, they need to, you know, really focus and really zone in, but not saying that Cole's not zoned in when he is on the pitch, but I feel like Cole, Cole is just unique in that sense where he can just go on the pitch, play the game, have fun, play the game to enjoy it, and he'll produce anyway, so that's just him. Do you, do you find that, um, I don't know, mo in inspiring in a sort of way? You know, and the other players who plays with him, you'd love to have a bit of that. Yeah, no, um, <clears throat> I, I wouldn't say as I'm, I'm as relaxed as him, but I'm also a player that doesn't really um, <clears throat> worry too much about pressurised situations or the pressure of playing. I just try and enjoy myself and play the game and do my job and do what the, my coach and the teammates require of me. So, yeah, but... He's, he, his one is a different level, though, for sure. <laughs> and, and just by way of a little bit of uh, insight into Lee Carsley, yeah. what, what sort of feedback has he given you about your first cap and the minutes that you had on the field against Finland? Um, did he? Yeah, no, he said I should have scored. <laughs> he said I should have scored, but um, no, nah, he said uh, I did well. I created a goal and I was played my game, you know. He only ever asked me to play my game, so. Hi, Nani. Nice to see you again. Hi, nice to see you. Um, I don't want to focus just on Cole, but Lee Carsley did say hmm. um, when he first took over that he's focusing on connections within yeah. the team. And obviously, you've got a fantastic connection with Cole. Yeah. Why do you think you get the best out of each other? That's a good question. Um, <clears throat> well, firstly, we've been playing with each other for a very long time now, since we were under 15 here at England. So I feel like that that's one thing. But I, I don't know. I feel like we're very, we're very good friends off the pitch. So he probably looks for me a lot, just as I look for him. And he's got a great, he's got a killer pass. And I'm very dynamic. So I think it just works, you know. So Yeah, it really does. It's exciting to watch from a, from yeah. a neutral's point of view as well. How desperate are you to transfer that for, for, for England? Because I've, I've watched you playing for Chelsea the last few weeks. Mm. Finally got your goal the other day. I could see how yeah, frustrated yeah. you'd been in, in, in previous matches. Yeah. And you got the assist last time out when you yeah. made your debut for England. What do you want to get out of this camp? Um, well, firstly, I want to win two games. That's most important always. And um, yeah, I just want to do my job as best as I can. Um, on the pitch and in training and um, yeah that's all, I, that's all I ever try and do when I step on the football pitch so it's the same here We've talked a lot about Lee Carsley but what about Enzo Maresca? What, what impact has he had on your game? Yeah Cars Carsley of course <coughs> is a great manager both of them are so it's because it's, it's of his work that I'm here at England with Cars so it's great it's great that he's my manager over there and um Having Carsley over here is also good too. But what's he brought out of you though? Um, I 
feel like the fine details of the game, he just helped me focus in on them and in order to be more effective. So that, that's the main thing I'd say. Brilliant. Thanks, Nani. You're Thanks welcome. Uh, Jack? Hi, Nani. You talked earlier about uh, Lee Carsley's ideas, Lee Carsley's beliefs. Can you tell us a bit about what those beliefs and ideas are? He wants to be, first and foremost, the most hardworking team, but also the most brave team. And he wants us to show personality when we're on the ball. And, um, of course, he wants to play a style of football that's nice to watch, but that's also ruthless and effective and wins games. So that's how I'd sum it up. Thank you. It sounds like you and the other lads who played with him for the under-21s are really loyal to him. You know, we heard in the last camp, I think, from Gibbs White and Gomez, and obviously we had Solanke here a minute ago. How, how much did it help you last month, for example, having a, f a familiar face there? Yeah, no, it was great. Um, him and Ash and Jolien, but a lot of the boys as well I, I knew, so it was great. It was easy to settle in last camp, for sure. And did Lee and Ashley Cole make it easier for you because you knew them? Um, easier for me in, in what sense? Like easier to make that step up to England seniors? Yeah, like I said, it's always nice when, when you know people around the place. Obviously, I'm very familiar with St. George's Park. Uh, I've been in the pathway since I was 15, 14, so coming here is, um, is familiar for me. But yeah, in terms of stepping up to the senior team, it's always great when you know people in the coach and stuff, for sure. Hi, Nolly. Um, I just wanted to ask about PSV. Um, uh, it seems to be a growing trend now of young English players leaving big English clubs to, to try their luck. PSV is obviously a huge club, but to, to go abroad. What, what is behind that trend and how beneficial were your years in Holland? Yeah, obviously it was just good for me to play football at a young age, you know, and um, ultimately all those decisions made have got me to where I am today, an England player. So, yeah, I'm grateful for everything I've been through my career up to this day and um, yeah just trying to play my football well at the moment for Chelsea and for England so because there used to be a mindset that English people and players didn't really want to travel and move abroad but obviously Angels benefited from his move to France We've seen Gittens and Sancho and other players like that so did you take inspiration from seeing a Sancho and stuff like that because that was kind of the the working theory back then yeah, no, Jaden um, obviously <coughs> went to Borussia Dortmund on the, off the back of an amazing World Cup for England under Euro, sorry, for England under 17s. And um, yeah, no, it was really brave from him. It's brave from everybody that does it, to be fair, especially at a young age. And um, it's nice when I, when I see stories similar to mine and stories that have ended in success. So. And, when, and finally, when you do do it, do, what benefits do you get apart from playing regular football? Is it the style of football as well? Because I guess getting minutes at different levels of the English pyramid might not be as beneficial as playing in the Eredivisie or whatever. I feel like it's case by case. Everybody's different. Um, I never played in a championship, of course, or, or in lower tiers of football in England. So for me, I can only go on what, what I learned. And it was great for me as a player and a person. So, yeah. Hi, Nani. Hi. Uh, back to Cole. Is he the best player in the world right now? <laughs> Listen, Cole's a phenomenal player. Um, in terms of the best player in the world, uh, I don't know if, if I should be the one to decide that. <laughs> can, can he be, do you think? Has he got the potential for it? I think the sky's the limit for him. I don't, I don't know if he has a... A ceiling. I don't know what his ceiling is, but I feel like <coughs> the form that he's showing now is incredible, and um, I just hope he can continue that. I know you mentioned a few times your relationship with him goes back to the under-15s, but remember it was either you or Cole back in the under-21s in Georgia describing yeah. each other as brothers. Yeah. Which I don't think, from the outside, you would guess because you're playing on opposing teams, maybe with England, I suppose. Can you just Are you elaborate? talking about when he played for? Uh, Manchester City. City, yeah, I guess okay. so. Uh, yeah. And you, you've been at um, Spurs, I guess, going up and then oh, yeah. abroad. Can you elaborate a bit more about what is it that you c makes you guys click so much, both on and off the pitch? We just bounce off each other. I think we have a similar outlook on things and how we uh, approach games. And, you know, we're just, we're just good friends. And, of course, when he helps, you, he helps me do well and I help him do well, I think that relationship then grows, so... That's really what it is. And just lastly, on yourself, you've got five goals already this season. Yeah. You've scored a hat-trick already. 
talk about working on your finishing over the summer, yeah. Ronaldo being your, your <coughs> idol. I mean, do you set goals of literally of goals for you? Is there a is there a level you're trying to get to? I'm just trying to be the best version of me, really. I don't, obviously, I admire Cristiano Ronaldo and a lot of other top players, but I'm just trying to be as good as I can be, really. So, in terms of the mm. setting goals, I just always try and be better and better and better every session, every game, and um, yeah, that's that's really it. Thanks, Tom. We'll go, Matt, and then finish with Tim. And we, we've we've had in the past um, attacking players who've been criticised for occasionally losing the ball in attacking positions. You're playing a game where there is risk and where you have to take those you know, take those risks sometimes. Um, is that ever in your head, or are you? Do you feel like you're being, you've been freed to a point by by Lee's approach to basically say you're an attacking player, take a few risks and, and create chances? What, what's what's Lee's view on that? Um, yeah, I feel like the players that create the most and score goals and are exciting, they probably lose the ball the most. So. For me, I just try and, if I lose the ball, just get after it and try and see if I can go and get it back as quickly as possible to go and do my thing again. And Lee's great in terms of that. He wants us to play with risk and play with <coughs> um, flair and just express ourselves. So, yeah. Um, and um, what's, the, uh, what's the limit for you? I mean, somebody who's really looked up to Ronaldo, it's not hard to see why, a great player. Um, how high do you feel you can you can go, and, and what and as far as your level of consistent performance and uh, and the standards that you can hit, how much more of your full percentage is there? My full percentage, well, I'm 22 years old, so definitely got my best years ahead of me, and um, I just try and work hard and stay level, and then at the end of my career, I'll come back and I'll I'll answer that for you. And just a final one from me. Um, do you think Cole would laugh? Are you going to you going to go back from today and go and tell him that a lot of the questions have been about your relationship uh, and about <laughs> the about the internet? What what will how will Cole respond to the fact that he's been the topic of a lot of these questions? <laughs> I think I think Cole's probably used to it by now, so <laughs> I think he'll just will probably just laugh about it. It's no big deal. It's not that deep. So yeah, Do you finish there too. Here, a lot of the young players in this squad have experienced winning a major tournament with England. Yeah. I just wonder, has that created a, an environment where there's no fear playing for England? Yeah, maybe. Um, <clears throat> first of all, playing for England is the best thing ever. I feel like you shouldn't go on the pitch and be scared. There's a reason you're here. And um, I feel like your mindset should just be to do what you do and try and help your teammates as much as possible. Just work hard and have fun, you know, have fun on the pitch. And um, the fact that we won the under-21 Euros definitely gives us confidence. So. Hopefully we can do the same thing at senior le senior level. Nani, we're we're in top flight football. It comes with a lot of pressure. And Harry Kane, all time leading goal scorer, 100 caps, coming in for criticism despite a 14 goal contribution in Germany already this season. From setting up him up for a goal on the pitch, and from the experience you've had with him in training, not this camp yet. Um, what have you seen from him from the world class caliber players that you've trained alongside before? Um, his first of all, his finishing is incredible, bo off both feet, and I've noticed great leadership qualities about him. You know, he's great, great with young players and uh, great with everyone. Really, he's a real leader, and um, yeah, no, assisting him was was great. The way he finished it off, he made it, <laughs> he made he made he made it look really easy. So that's um, that's what I'd, I've I've seen from him. Can you elaborate on those leadership? skills you say especially with young players what does he say when you when you came in to the senior camp what does he say what does he do because we don't see that side of it you see he's he's not really someone that speaks so much it's just he just has a welcoming aura about him and um for someone that's achieved so much and scored so many goals he's open to speak to you and um, introduce himself to you and that's something that um i thought was really cool about him the first time i met him so yeah Thanks all, we'll end it there. Juicy time. Thank you. Sweet. <coughs>